In this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to integrate your existing ESP32 Arduino core project with Deploy the Fleet. And so to get started, uh, the first thing that we're going to need to do within the Arduino IDE is to make sure that we have the correct board selected from the tools menu. Go to tools, board, and you can see I just have a generic ESP32 dev module selected. Uh, what that is actually is this dev kit C that I have connected that has an ESP32, uh, I believe it's a room module. And for the purpose of this demonstration, I have very simple firmware running. You can see as it starts up, it says deploy the fleet ESP32 example, wait 4321, this is version one. It then connects to the Wi-Fi and every five seconds prints out that this is version 1.0.0. So you can see that over here in the code, um, very simple. In the setup, we're just printing out that setup loop and then we're connecting to the Wi-Fi right here. And then in our main loop, after we've connected to the Wi-Fi, uh, successfully connected, we just every five seconds print out that this is version 1.0.0. So pretend that this is your firmware, your, your project or product firmware, uh, that you're now ready to integrate with Deploy the Fleet so that you can deliver over-the-air updates through the service. And so in our case, what we're going to do is we're just going to check for updates every time the device is reset or it starts up. But for your case, you'll want to pick a contextually uh, a spot that makes contextual sense, like you might have a button that triggers this, a, a web UI that you've integrated with your device that people can navigate to and trigger an update from there, or a switch, or some other interface with your device that you would trigger this update. The concept is the same. It's very simple uh, given the ESP32 uh, Deploy the Fleet Update Arduino library that we've created. And so we have our firmware here. You've got the board manager installed. You've got the ESP32 uh, Arduino core library installed and you're ready to integrate with Deploy the Fleet. So the way we would do that is uh, you can see that this firmware is just running over here in the serial monitor. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to get the uh, Deploy the Fleet Arduino library for ESP32s. And the way we do that is we come to the sketch menu, go to include library, manage libraries, and this will bring up the Arduino library manager. And from here, we're going to filter the search on DTF. And once we do that, you'll see you have two libraries to choose from. Uh, one is the ESP32 update, and the other one is the ESP8266 update. You'll want to install the ESP32 update. Um, just select the latest and install it. You can see I already have it installed, so I'll go ahead and click close. But it's just that easy. Right within the Arduino IDE, you can install the library and get started. And so now we just need to use the library. So we'll come over here and we'll say include ETF underscore ESP32 update dot H. And like I said, we're going to just one time on boot, we're going to check for updates. So to do that, I'm just going to create a static Boolean here called checked for updates and set it to false because we have not checked for updates yet. And then down in the connected block, because we need to make sure that we're connected to Wi-Fi for this to work, we're going to say if not checked for updates, set checked for updates to true to make sure that we don't do this again. And then this is the magic line of code that integrates us with Deploy the Fleet. It's very simple. We just say DTF underscore ESP32 update get firmware update. And this function takes two parameters. The first is your custom Deploy the Fleet update URL. And the second is the version of firmware that is currently running. And so I'm just going to put a placeholder there for the update URL. And then over here, I'm going to use that current version variable we have and pass that in just like that. And now to get the update URL, we're gonna come over to deploy the fleet. You'll be logged in. I've already created an example uh, product here called ESP32 example. You can see it has no firmware or devices because of the blank dashboard. But what we need is this update URL right here. So if we click on this handy button, it will copy it, update URL copied. And then we can come back over to here and paste it in. Okay. And that's it. Let's go ahead and click verify to make sure that we didn't make any mistakes and that everything builds. 
That'll just take a moment. Great, and you can see that the sketch is built and we can at this point upload it, but first what we're gonna do is make it, uh, make Deploy the Fleet aware of this new firmware update. And so the way that we're gonna do that is we need to export the compiled binary and we can do that in Arduino by coming up to Sketch, Export Compiled Binary. We'll click on that. And this will export it to the same folder that your sketch uh, resides in. So wherever this file, sketch underscore nov18b, is on your machine, that's where it will export the binary. And so what we'll do is we'll come over to deploy the fleet, we'll come to the firmware tab for our product, and we'll click on upload a new firmware. Now from here, if you click on this box, it will open up a file picker, so you can navigate and find the file, or you can just drag it in, which I'll do, which is for my other monitor here. There's that sketch underscore nov18b. Uh, binary, and you can see it'll give you a size here, and then we're just going to put the version number in as 1.0.0. We highly recommend using semantic versioning for these version numbers because future updates to the service will take advantage of that in uh, figuring out update paths and some other logic and some cool features that we have planned. Uh, but you're a lot, you can use any uh, versioning um, convention that you'd like. Uh, just note that semantic versioning, if you use that, will, will give you some extra features out of the box during a future release. And so we'll say this is version 1.0.0, and then we'll click Upload. Okay, now you'll see it's marked as the default because it's the only firmware we have at this point. So Deploy the Fleet says that's gotta be your default because there are no other firmwares to choose from, and there are no devices associated with this. Well, if we come back over to the IDE, we can change that by uploading our firmware to our device. Now we only need to do this once, somehow we have to get the Deploy the Fleet Aware firmware onto the device, and then all future updates will be handled through the Deploy the Fleet service. And so I'm just gonna come up here and click on the Upload button. And what that's gonna do is it'll compile it, it will load it onto my device. You'll see it'll very quickly write the flash. And uh, once that's finished, it should reboot. We should see that in the serial monitor over here. And you'll see it'll say 4321, and then still version 1.0.0. Now what it's going to do at this point is it's going to reach out to deploy the fleet over an HTTPS connection. Uh, TLS certificates are verified. All of that is good to go, so it's nice and secure. And it will say, hey, I'm running version 1.0.0. Is that the correct firmware version, or is there an update that I need to upgrade myself with? And so... Um, We'll just wait a second. And so on this first one, it will say, hey, there's no updates for you. You're already running the most current version of the firmware, and so no updates. And so while we're doing that, if we come over here to the service, we say devices. You can see it says no devices have connected yet, but if we hit refresh, we've, uh, it looks like it's still trying to connect to my Wi-Fi. So let's just give it a minute. In fact, let's just uh, force the reset here. Three, two, one. This is version zero. It's going to connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, sometimes my Wi-Fi has been a little spotty today. Sometimes the devices are having a hard time connecting to it. There we go. Okay, so connected to the Wi-Fi, and now it's saying this is version 1.0.0. It's going to repeat that every five seconds. Now if we come over here to the dashboard and hit refresh, You'll see the MAC address of our device is here, the last checked in time, and it'll say it's running version 1.0.0, which is great. So now we've got our Deploy the Fleet firmware and we have made Deploy the Fleet aware of that firmware. But as most IoT products have a need, we needed to push an update to all these. And so imagine that at this point, we're gonna take this device and give it to a customer or deploy it in the field somewhere. That's a, in a garage or my garden or in a storage unit somewhere, or like I said, with a customer. And we can't have them open the Arduino IDE and upload a firmware that way, or even send them a binary and say, you've got to plug it in and go through these, you know, the, the terminal and all this other stuff to upload it. We just want to push the update out to devices. And that's what Deploy the Fleet allows us to do. So for the purpose of this very simple hardware, I don't have an, an LED to flash, but we'll just change the version to 2.0. And then what that will do is now when it gets the update, instead of saying this is version 1.0.0, 
it'll be version 2.0.0. Now you have to use your imagination. Imagine some major feature that you've added or bug that you've fixed that you need to deploy. That's what we're doing here. We're changing the code and building a new version of it. So what we'll do is we'll click verify. It will go ahead and build that. And build successfully. And again, we need to export it. So we'll come up to sketch, export compiled binary. And that will take just a moment. Okay, that's good. And we got a new binary time. We'll come back over to deploy the fleet and we'll upload a new firmware. I'll drag over my firmware. Say this is version 2.0.0. And now this time you'll notice we have a new option here called mark as product default. Because this is a subsequent upload, we can decide whether we want this to be the default firmware for our product or not, in which case I do. So I'm gonna click that. And I'll say this is Awesome feature version 2.0.0. And we'll go ahead and we'll click upload. Okay, now you'll notice that 2.0.0 is now in the active firmware section because it's marked as the default, even though no devices are running it. 1.0.0 continues to be active because a single device is using it. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come back over and open up the serial monitor here. And I'm not going to click on the upload button at all. Remember, this device is now deployed somewhere in the field. Uh, it's with a customer, it's, it's off-site, and we don't have access to plug it in via USB cable to a computer to flash it. So all I'm gonna do is we're gonna keep an eye on the serial monitor. I'm gonna hit the reset button. You see it's gonna reset. We're gonna come down ESP32 example one, it's still running version one, but now what it's doing is it's going to connect to the Wi-Fi, reach out to deploy the fleet and say, is there a new version of the firmware to run? And if we come over here and it connects to my Wi-Fi successfully, if we click on devices and we refresh, we'll give it a second to connect. I apologize. Like I said, my, I've been having issues with the Wi-Fi connecting. Reset it again. Reach out, connect to the Wi-Fi, and ask deploy the fleet for an update. Okay, there we go. Reported version is 1.0.0, but we've sent it version 2.0.0. And so the service is aware that we've sent an update down, and now the device is responsible for loading it. And so that's what's happening right now. The device is flashing itself. And then it will reboot. And when it reboots, it will check in one more time. Uh, let's see the countdown here. Four, three, two, one. Now it says this is version 2.0. So we've, we're on the correct version now. It's gonna reach back out to deploy the fleet, say, hey, is there an update for me? In this case, there's not, because it's on the right version. And now it just says connected, this is version 2.0.0. Back over and deploy the fleet. If we refresh our device table, you'll see the reported version goes from that sort of upgrade path to just a solid 2.0.0 because that's the version of the firmware that we are now running. If we come back over to the firmware tab, you'll notice that the only active firmware at this point is 2.0.0 with one device, and it's moved version 1.0.0 down to the inactive firmware table um, because no devices are using that. If we wanted to switch back, however, we could just click on that version of the firmware there's a little set as default button. We'll click that. We get a little message saying, hey, this is gonna change the OTA update logic. Are you sure you wanna do that? And I'll say, yes, make it the default. So now it pulls it back up to the active firmware section. And now it says 1.0.0 is the default. And if we were to reset our device again, it would reset, reach out to deploy the fleet. It would say, oh, I need to go back to 1.0.0. It would pull the update down, self flash, and you'd be back on version 1.0.0. So that's just how simple it is to integrate with Deploy the Fleet. Not a lot of code, a single line using our uh, ESP32 update library. Uh, we'd be happy to answer any questions that you have, um, help you with your project to integrate this. Uh, if you're having uh, questions about how it works or if you get stuck, please reach out, uh, whether it's in the comments or you can always reach out to support at deploythefleet.io. Somebody will get back to you and help you out with whatever project or product that you are working on. Thanks so much for watching and have a great one.